Hydrogen powered car sales have just dropped by 70% in the United States. And yet General Motors has come out today saying that actually diesel is a great alternative for trucks. I'm talking pickup trucks even. This is GM's new hydrogen powered pickup truck. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. General Motors this year will supply the first medium duty pickup truck powered by hydrogen fuel cells to a utility company in Georgia as part of evidence of its new hydrogen technology. Now, General Motors and Honda have actually been jointly developing hydrogen powered vehicles as well for a number of years. They've poured in, we don't know exactly how much money, but we do know it's well over $50 million into that project. This new vehicle going to electric and gas utility Southern Company will incorporate the body and frame of a 2024 Chevrolet Silverado 5500 medium duty truck and GM's Hydrotech fuel cell system. The truck will have a GM estimated range of around 300 miles, which is a lot less than its electric pickup trucks, which now have a range of over 460 miles. Gross vehicle weight though is 19,500 pounds. It's, um, it's not light. The medium duty truck will be capable of generating more than 300 kilowatts, so about 450 horsepower. It can be used as off-board power, say General Motors, on job sites or for electric vehicles when traditional charging is unavailable. Uh, that doesn't really make much sense. General Motors is saying, um, oh, we can save your butt if your electric vehicle needs a charge. But the thing is, this thing has a lot less range than GM's electric trucks. So... I mean, realistically, if you're out somewhere, only 57 hydrogen refueling stations in the entire country of North America, maybe it's safer to, you know, you know charge your truck at a, a house um, where you can't get hydrogen or, at, you know, one of many locations, there's millions of places where you can charge your electric truck. This is why I don't think it's going to work out for GM. But anyway, the medium duty truck will be capable of generating a fair bit of power to put this into, into perspective. 300 kilowatt is enough to power up to 250 American homes, said Jacob Lozier. I'm not sure why he quoted that, what, why that's even relevant. 300 kilowatt, that's just the power output of the truck in terms of you know how much power it can use to drive. Anyway, it can power up to 250 American homes. That's GM's new catch cry now. Um, power 250 American homes with our hydrogen truck, but it will only last a couple of, maybe, maybe one or two hours maximum. Anyway, the five-year project is funded in part the U.S. Department of Energy's $65 million Super Truck 3 program, and it will deploy hydrogen technology and a work vehicle. Um, basically, the idea here is to assist General Motors and possibly Honda as well into develop, continuing to develop their hydrogen-powered vehicles, just in case that becomes um, relevant to American um, consumers. GM says... It sees hydrogen fuel cells as a replacement for diesel engines, particularly in heavy duty commercial vehicles that need to carry large payloads and refuel fast. GM are collaborating with auto car industries to place hydrogen fuel cells in these vehicles as concrete mixes and roll off trucks starting in 2026, as well as with Japanese heavy equipment manufacturer Komatsu on a hydrogen fuel cell mining vehicle prototype. General Motors and Nell are working to advance industrial production of Nell's proton exchange membrane electrolyzer, which uses water and electricity to produce hydrogen and oxygen. So this is where this is what it all comes down to. General Motors is trying to do what Toyota is trying to do, which is commercialize hydrogen vehicles so it can sell hydrogen to you. If General Motors have a joint venture partnership to basically make the technology that creates hydrogen. So General Motors want to become essentially like a fossil fuel supplier to sell you hydrogen. It makes a profit on the hydrogen sales. And of course, General Motors then becomes like, you know, basically kind of not an oil company, but you know what I mean. Jim and Honda also started production of hydrogen fuel cell systems in January at a joint venture factory near Detroit. I've been working for GM for 25 years now, and this is by far the most exciting time and exciting transformation that I've been a part of, said Mark Dickens. The most exciting part today isn't that we're here to talk about fuel cells as a concept anymore. More importantly, we're here to talk about the successful real world application of fuel cells and hydrogen in General Motors' future vehicle lineup. Thanks for watching.